guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am with another brand, another analyzer. So the brand name is Eastmed and the model number is EM200. This is the clinical chemistry analyzer. Today we will see its all operation, Cal uh, calibration, QC, patient samples running, each and everything today we will see. So let's start our video. So guys, once we start the software, first we need to do the reset and click on perform. Second step, air purge. Air purge means that to circulate the water or in simple way, it is the priming of the machine. Next step is wash cells. So let me click on wash cell. So once you will click on wash cell and click perform, total cubits are 44. So if you want to clean the cubits as per your choice, you have to enter the starting cup and the ending cup and then click on execution. So in this way, you can do the washing of the cubits. Next is wash cell. In this option, once you will perform this, it will do the cleaning of all the cubits from 1 up to 44. Step is cell blank. If you want to see that, your machine will check the absorbance of all the machine. It will check. This option to check the communication between analyzer and CPU. And the last option is detergent wash. If you want to wash the machine with detergent, you have to execute this. Now we will see how to do the configuration of parameters. So let's start. For example, if you want to add any region, click on add, enter the name of the test, for example, I'm going to write TG triglyceride. Here the full name triglyceride. Enter the wavelength. The wavelength of triglyceride is 505 and the second wavelength is 700. Same as we have to define the assay point. It's a one end point. What is the machine cycles? So we will say this is 34. Same as we can change the unit. If you're going to use the SI unit, so you have to use millimole or if you are going to use the convention unit then milligram per deciliter and same as the linearity you will find this range in the kit insert same as the volume the volume of triglyceride is region 1 because it has only one region so 300 versus the sample volume only 3 ml and then click on saves this is the way how to do the configuration of parameter now it's time to enter the calibrator value click on parameter then select the calibration type it could be one point linear it could be two point linear depends on the parameter then select the blank type region or water if you select the water no need to keep the blank only one calibrator is enough but if you will select the blank type as region then you have to keep the blank as well and after that assign the position So guys, if you don't have a calibrator, so how to do the calibration, select the calibration type, which is one point linear. And in the K value, by default, it is one, change the value of K and enter the value of ALT factor, which is 2500 and then save. No need to do the calibration now. Now it's time to enter the quality control value. Click on QC, then QC setting, then click add QC. And here you need to enter the QC name, for example, normal control, path control, whatever it is. Enter the name of the control here. I am writing a normal QC and QC lot number. Click OK. And here it will show you all the parameters. Click on parameter, for example, albumin. Click there and here enter the mean value, which is your target value. Suppose 53 and same as the standard deviation value. You have to enter the SD value here and then click save. Same as you have to click on next parameter, suppose iron, enter the mean value, target value, suppose 128, same as enter the SD value and click on save. In this way, you will enter the values of all QC. Same way you can add another QC. Now I will tell you 
how to assign the position of reagent if you are using the barcoded reagent machine will scan or assign automatically if you are using the manual reagent click on reagent click on reagent status then we have to assign the position click on manual entry and in manually select the reagent position so there are two things one is inner one is outer click on add select the position here suppose i'm going to select position number one inner click on cholesterol of course this is not a region this is the region one r1 click r1 and save so now you can see that i assign the position of cholesterol at position number one inner same as click add and assign the position assign the test any test you can select Same as if you want to see the status of the region, click on region, then region status. So here it will show you the position. Now I will tell you how to enter the profile. So suppose I want to make a profile for LFT, right here LFT, click OK. The left side is for profile and the right side for the test. So select the test for LFT, suppose AST, again select ALT, same as, now select suppose alkaline ALP, same as, select more tests, suppose total bilirubin, mm, here total bilirubin, I will again select direct bilirubin. Mm, is here and gamma gt i can enter here in the lft profile mm, ggt here so in this way we can make a profile same as if you want to make profile for some more uh, uh, so for more profile so suppose uh, if i want to make a profile for um, rft renal function test click ok same as select the test suppose we can select the creatinine and urea it's here where it is where it is it's here creatinine click ok and then select urea so in this way we can make a profile and we can select the test Now I will tell you how to add more units. Click on dictionary, click on unit and then click on add. And here I can add some more units. By default we have only 7 unit. But if you want to add some more unit, for example, you can see that at position number 5 millimole per liter is there. But I want to add millimole per deciliter. So I can add and click save. In this way you can add more units. So guys, now we will see how to do the calibration in QC. Click on calibration and then click on the parameters. Be sure always double click on the analyzer because one click it will be green color which means blank. Double click means you want to do the full calibration. So let me select all the parameters. 
then click OK. Same as if you want to run the quality control, click on QC. And after that, select the lot or name number. Suppose I want to run the normal control, click on normal control and you can assign the position. If you will not select the test, it will do all the QC. You can uncheck some QC if you don't want to run. Blue, all blue color means that it is ready to run. And at the end, you have to click on register. Same as if you want to run another QC, click on name lot number and select the another QC. It's time to run the patient sample. So click on test and then you have to enter the sample number if you have otherwise keep it as it is. Select the position. I already assigned the position 1 and 2 for the calibrator. So it will show us the value from 3 up to 39, which is the last one. So let me see if suppose I want to render position number 3, enter the sample name because I want to see the precision of the machine. So I will write precision test. You can write any name of the patient. And this is the pre-dilution. If you want to do the dilution, you can select pre-dilution. 1 is to 5, 1 is to 10, it's up to you. This is the sample ID. This is standard sample cup. And here we want to enter the sample type. It's a serum or urine. And you can select the test. Instead of that test, you can select the profile, which is mentioned in the downside, LFT, RFT, lipid. Same as at the end, you have to click on register. If you want to run in a batch mode, so you have to click on batch first select the two test or any test you can select suppose i want to select the two test click on batch if it is a cup click on use sample cup and here you need to enter the counting how many cups do you have suppose i have four cup five cups six cup whatever the cups you have you click here so you can see that it will enter automatically for the same profile for all these tests same as if you want to delete, click on delete. It will show a specific sample, which means you want to select, you want to delete the uh, test from one to six, or you want to delete all the tests, or if you want to delete the selected test, you can delete from here. then click on start so now it will show you the cure temperature dns water status waste water status detergent status it will show you the total number of samples so all the details are here so routine test it is showing that five masking means that it will skip some test if for example region is not there click on starts so it will confirm do you want to start click ok so this is the way how to run the patient sample Now let's see some more detail about this analyzer. If I click on any position, so it will tell me that it is registered, which means it is running now. And this is the position which is purple in color for the control. And yellow means for the calibrator. So these are the legends. So if I click on reaction status, so and this is the region status. So it will show us the position of the region. It will show us the reaction status. So here we can see that, for example, now machine is running on. So we can see at the moment it is purple is color, purple in color, which means it is pending. So first step is that machine is going to wash all these cubits, which are 44 in numbers. So once machine will wash these cubits, so the color will change accordingly. Like for example, you can see that um, the white color is for the idle yellow means r1 plus sample green means finished 
pink means r1 as an r2 so now you can see that white because machine already start washing it so cubit number one is now cleaned so that's why it is ready to run same as it will clean the next position position number two this is a routine of the machine this is the procedure that once machine will clean this and then it will add the sample in it so now you can see that position number one is now idle and number two is pending this is also idle of course so now machine will clean the next cubit Now first step is machine will add the region 1. Once machine will add the region 1, the color will be blue. So now you can see that the color is blue and after that machine will add the sample. So the color will be yellow as you can see that. Same way guys, if you want to see the reaction curve, click on RT curve. It will show you the live absorbance versus time curve. Guys, have a look at the functionality of the analyzers, how machine will work. Regarding the throughput of this machine, this machine can perform 200 tests in one hour and this machine have 40 position for the samples, 40 position for the reagent inner side, 40 position for the reagent outer side and it has 44 reusable washable cubits. So guys, now I will tell you how to shut down this analyzer. So before shutdown, be sure you are going to clean the cubits. So let me show you how to clean the cubits. Click on shutdown. Then you will see these three options, wash cell, shutdown and cancel. Always click on wash cell before shut down the machine. So if you click on wash cell, it will clean all the cubits. We have another option. Go to the maintenance and click on wash cell all. So you can choose any one of them and after that you can shut down the analyzer. So guys, if you like my today's video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.